You're a bodyguard here. Yeah, I'm bodyguard here. Yeah, yeah. How did you like the conference, the people? Uh, great. Yeah? Great, the people are fantastic. We are in Amsterdam together with my team, which is shy. <laughs> and we were supposed to film it yesterday, but my so social anxiety kicked in like this bus driver. And that's why today it's a bit worse weather. But yeah, hopefully it's gonna be as good as yesterday. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna look for some interesting people here at the conference because there are plenty of them. Actually, no luck. Every everyone's eating a ramen soup right now. This is absolutely improvised. I wonder who this guy is. Oh, hey. Hey, Vlad, two words about yourself to the people who don't know you. Yeah, so I'm a 3D artist and uh, I run the Creative Stream blog with tips and tricks about computer graphics uh, with Eddie Burroughs. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we spread coffee propaganda around the world. How was the coffee here? Yeah, the coffee is pretty bad here. Zero overall. to ten. No, on the conference you mean. Yeah, but in the, in the coffee shops it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We, we will edit it out. Alan, two words about yourself. So I'm a 3D journalist. I've been freelancing about seven years or so. And I have paused freelancing to create a course that helps digital creatives like 3D artists, motion graphics, website designers to freelance effectively, find great clients and build their business and ultimately achieve their dreams. What do you like? The most about the conference? Oh, the inspiration, meeting people, getting so many ideas, getting to bounce ideas off, the, off each other and chat about all kinds of things and just feeling honestly very inspired and how open and friendly everyone is. If you don't know this guy, he's very tall. Um, Zach, two words about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Zach Weinhardt. Well, actually, my name is Zacharias. Um, yeah. And I met Lech uh, in, in Germany a few years ago. Oh, right. That's yeah. true. I was giving a, a workshop somewhere in southern Germany. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a website called cgboost.com and there I uh, do blender training and stuff like this. So guys, I'm personally uh, a bit socially awkward when it comes to events like this. So I'm gonna very soon give the camera to one of my team members probably Damian and he's gonna uh, film a, a little bit more for you Damian you want to say something I just Hello. introduced you so you're gonna be filming I don't know what to say you yeah he, he's shy but he's much more open than, than I am she wants to take a nice picture for a reader nice. that is so there is so many nice speeches today, she don't know which which to choose. One eternity later. Edita is confused, there is so many of nice speeches today, she don't know which one to choose. Guys, just finished the Blender Educators meetup. Pretty actually interesting uh, to see the experiences of other people who are teaching Blender and see how it's actually very nicely pushed to more and more educational institutions, communities. So that's uh, gonna be great future for all of us. I'm just actually looking around, pretty, pretty cool area, right? Here at the New Bay. So we are heading back to our place just to refresh a little bit and now I mean, then we're gonna go to the evening party with Blender Nerds.
I'm at the Blender conference dinner and I'm gonna interview some girls. For how long are you using Blender? I said no to this interview. But maybe I should I should pose like this exactly. Two I, words about yourself for the Blender community. Um my name is Julius, I do stuff with plants. And I do music but not in Blender. Uh, who's your best Formula One driver? I have no idea. Carlos, who are you? Um, Carlos Mathur. <laughs> How long have you been using Blender? Uh, I think for nine years, probably. Uh, you're one of the best Blender visualizers. What? Yeah, come on, not what, true, not what, true. What would, what would be your advice to people wanting to use Blender for architectural stuff? Um, I think Having a look to other tutorials from other people, even if they don't use Blender, it's always useful. So always try to get reference and, and um, ideas from other places. Hi, two words about Blender. It's a great piece of kit for using for architecture. You just have to get down and dirty and learn how to use it a little bit and then it will give you excellent results. Okay, very good. So, so let me ask you this. Um, so you're waiting. You're waiting. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> you're waiting for us to come and engage chocolatefur.com. We would like to collaborate with some high schools, even in the US. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, two words about you. Uh, I love Blender, and I love chocolatefur.com. Oh man. Yeah, because because. You do, you, uh, you... But now it's gonna look like it's staged. Oh, but no, it's not, it's not. You, c you basically give to the community. That's very Blender-like. One encouragement you would give to people who want to keep going with Blender. If, if a person is young, like 18, I wish I was 18 and okay. had time. This is the time. Because you're getting in when the wave is going up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what's happening. Okay, thanks. So it's, yeah, it's a very good time. Thank you, my friend. Nice to see you. Yeah, you bet. All right. <laughs> Amsterdam, come, come to Amsterdam. Another day at Blender Conference. Uh, I have my speech at 10 a.m. It's already 9.40, I think. So I'm obviously late. Hi. It. We can capture a picture on a sunny day but with a different color balance. So I'm just out of the presentation. I think it went pretty well. I really hope people enjoyed it. But for the next year, a lesson for next year, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit more entertaining. Feel like uh, this academic style of presentation is not really the best format for Blender conference. I might be wrong, but yeah. I have to go and check up with my team right now. Mm. How do you like the conference? Uh, I like it. Uh, I, I met new, new friends. I had a few interesting conversations with people. So Edka, how do you like working at the conference? It's the best part of the conference for me. Don Rosendahl, uh, Don Rosendahl. <laughs> our hero, and I would just like to ask you uh, in two sentences, how did you like the past year in Blender? Oh my god, yeah, so what happened with Blender in the past year, I could not have predicted that last year. Yeah. Uh, the whole industry is on board, yes. and the whole perception of Blender is flipped 180 degrees. Yeah. And all the studios in the world, Game studios, animation studios, they're all looking at Blender. So one word of encouragement for young or people in general who would like to jump into Blender right now. But I should, you are welcome, right? <laughs> You've been at the Blender conference, you've seen how it is. Yeah. So Blender is about people. We always say that it's not about uh, the open source, about, it's not about uh, technology, it's first about people.
Damian, were you disappointed by the red light district? <laughs> yes. Heading back to our place it was a really great time as always in Amsterdam. But next year we might have two conferences, one in US, one in Amsterdam as usual. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Thanks everyone for sticking up. Hope it was interesting.